monks from Shaolin Boxing. I can tell you, everybody is on their best behavior with the presence of monks around us here doing real life Shaolin Boxing. It reminds me of my days watching Uchigi China growing up in the township. So everybody is enthralled and this is really what it's about. It's not just about the tangible exchange in agriculture and mining, but also a cultural exchange. And I think, yeah, uh, the crowd around us are doing a round of applause, just taking a look at the best of the best that China has in store and also the best of the best that South Africa has to offer. This is what it's about. Yes, Yesterday, the delegation from the world's second largest economy descended on Bukone Bupirima and they landed at the reactivated Mahikeng in airport and I must tell you it is a hive of activity as we not only celebrate the upgrade of that airport but a number of projects in the pipeline and yes they're clapping for the guests behind me not quite for me because I'm not a contortionist but we're joined by the premier of the province now Mr. Supra Mohima Belu. Such a pleasure to have you with us welcome and good morning. Morning morning Ayanda and uh, good morning to South Africans. 60 member strong delegation led by the uh, vice governor of the Henan province Mr. Li Ya. They've now come to to your province, what are you expecting to showcase? Remember that as a province, we took a decision to rebrand, to reposition and renew the province when we came in as the FIFA administration. So we are on course in, as part of implementing the National Development Plan. Our hope is that uh, we are going to be working on some concrete things between ourselves and the Hanan province that relate to agriculture, culture, tourism, mining. Most importantly, we must make sure that whatever we do as part of investment is concerned, we create jobs for our people. Because if we don't do that, if we don't grow the economy and create jobs, we will continue to have some serious challenges. A key part of growing the economy is infrastructure development. You've started with the airport. What other plans do you have in store? We have agreed that as part of rebranding, repositioning and the renewal of Mahikeng, this convention centre is now going to become an MICC, Mahikeng International Convention Centre. Just adjacent to it, we are going to be constructing a world-class five-star hotel. Not far from the MICC, we are constructing a new stadium in Mahikeng, 55,000-seater stadium. We are also going to be creating a rail link between the stadium and the airport. You see now the aeroplanes are landing in Mahikeng as part of promoting tourism. Now, our relationship with China, whenever you mention that, it raises a few eyebrows with some saying that it is uh, um, perhaps malevolent and uh, there's a lot of suspicion around that. How are we making sure that we protect South African interests but also play ball? They are our BRICS partners and we do need that, uh, that uh, symbiotic exchange. How do we make sure that fair is fair? There are rules and regulations that govern trade among countries. And the rules and regulations uh, governing trade between South Africa and China in the context of BRICS are very clear. So this notion that uh, China seeks to dominate our markets here in South Africa is a far-fetched notion. As far as I'm concerned, we believe in the some work, some track philosophy. There's no way we are going to allow another country to dominate us. We are engaged in a process of a win-win situation and as far as economic development is concerned. China is the fastest growing economy, second to America currently. Anybody who thinks that you cannot have economic relations uh, with China needs to be examined properly. Let's talk a little bit about whether or not you'll be putting pen to paper this time around. I've been speaking to some of the officials around here and it seems to be a bit of a contentious issue that there was an understanding that some Chinese businessmen would be here and signing agreement but there have been no agreements signed thus far. What's the problem or perhaps what are some of your concerns? What is going to happen is that there's going to be an overarching agreement between the Bukonimbu Pirima province and the Hanan province signed between the two governments, the two provinces, and based on that agreement, the rest of the agreements will then follow. Just today and tomorrow, we are going to be having business-to-business -to -business interactions, and they will be signing agreements on their own as business. Ourselves, through the Northwest Development Corporation, we are going to be driving that aggressively. 
And I think anyone who's ever signed a contract knows that you need to read the fine print very well. You, one should not be very quick to, to rush to sign anything. Remember, we have been in government now for almost 21 years. So we have learned the trade. There's no way in the context of South African business uh, relations we are going to be making sure that we compromise the province. So it can happen. We have got teams that are looking at the finer prints, but most importantly, it's about building partnerships. It's about building relations. It's about building trust between ourselves and the Chinese to grow our market so that we can bring more investment to the province. And how is your Mandarin? <laughs> xie xie. Uh, what's xie xie? <laughs> I just know ni hao. Xie xie means thank you very much. Oh, xie xie. And that's where we leave it, at least for now. We'll be hearing from the Chinese delegation uh, headed by Mr. Li Ya. He is the vice governor of Henan province. He'll be chatting to us after this short break. We'll be back. Stay with us.